everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious Haitian chicken. This recipe right here, amazing. So easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, you make it Gina Young style, it's going to be so tasty. You'll never have my Haitian chicken before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is for you all to figure out what type of meat you want to use. Not what type of meat, but what piece of the chicken would you like to use. So now, when I make this here specific recipe, I always like to use chicken legs. I know everybody's surprised because I don't cook chicken legs. The only way I like to cook chicken legs is if I'm making Haitian chicken. So we have some gorgeous chicken legs here that I have washed off with lime juice, salt, and cold water, and then we've pat them dry. You're gonna need some veggies to make our dish taste delicious and also look beautiful. So we have a nice, beautiful green bell pepper. We have a red bell pepper, and we have a gorgeous sweet, um, sweet onion and then also we're going to be using some tomato paste okay and if we make our way this way we have some Haitian at base sauce and then if we come over this way alongside of our Haitian chicken we're going to be serving some roasted garlic and olive oil couscous you will need some chicken broth and a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good here's what you'll need this way a little bit of Maggie Pollo. Maggie Pollo is chicken powder or you would even use a Maggie Q. Okay? And also you're going to need some black pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple yet so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how easy it is to make this simple delicious recipe. If you all love chicken, you're going to love this recipe. Now, when this dish is typically made, you like to take the skin off of the meat. Now, I happen to love chicken skin, so I left two of the legs with the chicken skin on so I can eat those two. And you can see that I've taken the skin off the other ones. But one thing that I wanna address is you need to put scores, score marks, into your chicken just like so. So that our beautiful spices can kind of go nice and deep into that chicken. You know, just put a couple of score marks. You don't have to get crazy with it. But just every single piece, put a couple of marks just like so, so we can get that spices deep down into your chicken. Now, if you have the time to marinate your chicken, I highly suggest that you're gonna marinate it. But since we're doing a video, I'm not gonna let mine's marinate for long. Okay, so now that I have my score marks on, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to wash my hands, and when I come back, I'm going to show you how I like to season these chicken legs. So I want to put a clip in here on how I like to wash off my chicken. So right now we're adding some salt. Don't worry because the salt will not cause your chicken to be salty. And then we have lemon or you have lime and you wanna squeeze that juice and you wanna rub every single piece of your poultry just like so and squeeze as much juice as you can on there. And then you rub the chicken, uh, you know, the chicken pieces together and you rinse them off with nice cold water. If you want it to, you can pour some boiling water on top of the chicken before we start the cooking process. So now we need to season up our chicken. We're gonna go in with some black pepper, just like so. Okay, let's flip it over. And we're gonna put some salt, not too much salt. Don't get crazy with it because if your family wants more, they can add their own. Now that was sea salt that I put on. We're gonna give it a nice turnover, just like so. Okay, and then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Haitian Epi Spice and we are going to rub it all in those deep crevices you know those little slits that we put down into that chicken we want for this chicken to be like nice and flavorful okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our epis it's kind of like um sofrito but it's not 
you know, it has a couple of more different um, ingredients in it that's different from sofrito. So now what we do is I'm gonna go in with my impeccably clean hands and I'm really gonna rub in this beautiful epi spice just like so. Get it down into those crevices. We're gonna let it sit and marinate as long as you want. Like I said, because I'm doing a video, I'm not gonna let it marinate long. So now what we wanna do is go ahead and start to cut some of your veggies just like so. When making this dish, I always like to do um, like our cuts like this, okay, like circles. We're gonna do the onion the same way. If it happens to tear or break on you, don't freak out. But the dish looks the best when you have these rings of these gorgeous bell peppers just like so. And once you get up to the seeds, you don't really have to cut it anymore, okay? So just like that, we have some gorgeous, kind of like I said, circles. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here with the red bell pepper. And we're not gonna cook these bell peppers and onions until they turn into mush. We're gonna cook them to where they still have some nice texture and they still have this nice vibrant color. If you cook bell peppers too long, they kind of lose that beautiful color and then they kind of turn limp and kind of really soft. That's not what we're looking for. But in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what we're looking for. When I come back, I'll have the onions already cut because I don't wanna cry on camera. And then I'll show you all what to do next. So right here, you can see that we have our bell peppers and our onions in the rings just like so. We're gonna set those aside for the time being because honestly, we're not gonna use those until like the last 10 minutes of the recipe. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. If you take a look in this frying pan that I have right here to the left of me, you will see that I have a little bit of oil in the pan, really not a lot. Just a little bit of tiny, um, it's vegetable oil, but you can use whatever type of oil you would like to use. <clears throat> we are then gonna make this really quick and simple, yet so tasty sauce, okay? And they just call it a sauce. And this sauce can be used for just about anything. We're gonna put about two and a half, and this is a kitchen tablespoon, two and a half to three tablespoons of our Haitian epis. I know some people are gonna say, it's not epis, it's apis. I know it's apis, but I like to say epis. <laughs> I know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I know you're gonna say it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Now we're going to, we're gonna let this A piece cook until the veggies start to turn a darker color. They're gonna turn darker because they're, it's vegetables in there and they're starting to cook. Once they start to cook, we're gonna then add some tomato paste and you're gonna add your Maggie cube or your Maggie pollo uh, powder and that's the beginning of the sauce. Now. You have the option of using water to, to make it into your sauce or using chicken broth. I found that using chicken broth makes it more tasty. So now once this starts to cook up, just like so, I'll be back to show you all what we need to do next. So this should be what your A piece and your oil is doing. Just let it cook just for a few minutes until all of those veggies get nice and cooked. Now let's talk about what is A piece. Now, here's how I like to make mine. You might make yours a different way. But what I like to do, we're gonna go in with some parsley, and you're gonna use a blender or um, something that's gonna really blend it up, okay? So I use parsley, we use tons of garlic, we're gonna use a couple of cloves, like maybe six cloves. We're gonna use Maggie Cube, which is your Maggie Pollo powder, and um, we are going to use a little bit of vegetable oil, a little bit of water. We're gonna use different color bell peppers, red, green, orange, and yellow. And then we're gonna use onion. You can use green onion in as well. You blend all that up just like so, and you have amazing a piece. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a little bit of cilantro in there, but then you kind of uh, start to veer off until, um, until you're making a sofrito, okay? So that's how you make a piece. It's kind of just like you make sofrito. Kinda, kinda just like it. They're very similar. So now, our veggies are cooked, and my house smells uh, pretty much amazing. We're gonna take some tomato paste, and we're gonna make a sauce. Don't take the shortcut and get tomato sauce, okay? Because we're not making a sauce out of tomato sauce. We're gonna make a homemade sauce. This is a 12 ounce tomato paste, and I've used just about all of it, but not really all of it. You know, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna really combine this A piece 
with our tomato sauce. And once everything gets combined, I'll come back to show you all what you need to do next. Now before we go any further, let's go ahead and start cooking up our couscous. Couscous looks like little teeny tiny balls and a lot of people say, what does it taste like? It kind of tastes like rice, kind of tastes like noodles, kind of tastes like delicious. So now I have one and one fourth cup of chicken broth in there, a half a stick of butter, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna put the seasoning pack in. As soon as this comes up to a boil, you stir it, you turn it off, you cover it with foil and you fluff it right before you eat it. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon and I'm going to put a tiny bit of chicken powder in there and it'll be done. I tell you what, there's nothing like the smell and the taste of tomato paste that has cooked down, like honestly, really cooked down. Oh my goodness. It is such an amazing taste. Okay, so here's what we do. You see that we just put chicken broth in. And like I said, if you don't have chicken broth, don't worry about it, just use some water, okay? Because even if you use water, you're gonna go in with this chicken powder, you're gonna get you some in there for some flavor. And I'm gonna be honest, put as much as you like or as least as you like, okay? But it really gives flavor when you add it with the chicken broth the tomato paste in your A piece, okay? So now what we're looking for is we're looking for a sauce consistency. This sauce can be put onto the Haitian pork that we made like a week and a half ago. Remember I spoke of, you can use this same sauce for that griot pork that we made. It is delicious. If you have extra leftover, put it into a Tupperware dish, put it in your refrigerator and use it over rice. Use it for everything. You're gonna love, love, love this sauce. So now you can literally see that we've made a mouth-watering, delicious sauce. This is it, just let it simmer. Now when I come back, let's get started putting our chicken in a little tiny bit of oil. Let's get it brown on all sides. A tiny bit of oil is in our pan. Make sure your oil is nice and hot. If you don't hear and see that sizzle right there, don't put another one in because you need for your pan to be hot in order for this to turn out successful. Look at those beautiful spices that we have coated all over our gorgeous chicken. Give me a second, guys. So I want you all to take a look at the couscous. And right now it kind of looks like nothing. But all you have to do is when it's done, is you just kind of fluff it up just like so. Now you can really come in. Take a look at these gorgeous corals. And like I said, they give you, um, and they kind of remind you of rice, kind of remind you of noodles. Let's come in closely so I can show you. That right there is amazing. And it goes perfect with this Haitian chicken. Now let's take a peek in at our chicken. I have already turned it over one time. And now I've put a little bit of foil so oil doesn't pop everywhere, okay? So now we got in some gorgeous color and I'm just gonna keep on cooking it until we get that beautiful color all over our chicken, just like so. Look at that, yes. So our sauce is absolutely amazing. I can't stop eating it. Now we have some golden brown chicken, look at it, beautiful. Go ahead and nestle it right into your pan just like so, okay? And so we're gonna do a number just like this until I get it all around. All right, in this manner, and we're just gonna let it simmer with that beautiful sauce, just like so. Now, we're gonna take our bell peppers and onions. We're gonna put the bell peppers and onions right on top after everything simmers for a while. And it's up to you, how long do you wanna let your simmer? I usually let mine simmer for, let's just say a half an hour or so. All this goodness right here that's on that pan, don't forget it, put that in there just like so. Now, okay, so we're just gonna let this be let it simmer for a half an hour. When I come back, I'll show you when I put the bell peppers in. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. When I come back, here's what I like to do. I'm not gonna submerge them all the way, but I like to do just a nice thin coat on the top. Oh, my house smells so good right now. This is one of my best ways to make chicken and you're gonna love it as well. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Take a look, it's simmered for a half an hour and all you do with your gorgeous bell peppers, take a look. You just kinda align them just like so in this manner. Okay, have fun with the recipe, you know? Put the red ones if you wanna use the yellow and the, and the um, orange, absolutely you could. And then put your onions just like so. You just let them kinda wilt down just a little bit, but like I said, don't get them mushy. 
They don't need to be mushy. You just want to get rid of that raw flavor. Now, before we go any further, I have to show you how gorgeous that chicken is. Look at it. Beautiful. Look at that chicken. And then we have our couscous here. And we're going to put our chicken on top of the couscous. Listen here. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style. Haitian chicken. Make it so. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Quick prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the rope over our head, the food, the love, peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Man, once again, this is my favorite type of chicken. Look at this. Here, here, the couscous. You have to taste it. <laughs> the couscous, you have to try it. It's amazing. All right, and then look how we arrange these gorgeous peppers. And like I said, keep in mind, the peppers, they're not limp. You know, they're not all limp and, you know, just like, they, they, they haven't lost life. <laughs> They're beautiful. They still have some texture. Here's what I want to show you. Look at the inside of that chicken right there. My goodness. With the couscous and the peppers, my mouth is salivating. But this right here, get on there, onion. This is burning up. I don't want to burn the daylights out of my mouth. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.